Libra, have you been feeling stressed and frustrated lately? Especially when it comes to technical issues, communication issues. We'll get into why and what it means and how it can be resolved throughout this week. Libra, this is your weekly tarot card reading and astrology summary. I'm going to I'm going to sprinkle astrology throughout this reading, guys. This is a reading for Libra sun, moon and rising sign. There is always an extended reading and I hope that you guys will please join me for that. The link is down below in the description box and I'll attach it right above so you can click right on it at the end of this video. Libra, please do take all the energy that I that I describe. Take it where it resonates in your life. This is first and foremost your reading. If you really love the readings, please be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so that you know when I upload your favorite content. And Libra, if you really, really love Born Without Boundaries Tarot, I have a second YouTube channel called Astrology Motivation that I hope you will join me for. It seems like you're waiting for something. It really does. And and I say that based on what I have written about the astrology as well. Let's Let's cover the astrology first and foremost. So... I think the biggest thing that's happening to to Venus right now is it's going to it's coming in closer and closer to Saturn. And so by I would say Wednesday, Thursday, it's going to be conjunct Saturn and that conjunction will just get tighter and tighter through the weekend. It'll be in perfect conjunction and then it'll go on the other side of Saturn more toward the um Aquarius Pisces cusp. Um but it'll still be in conjunction. So basically for this whole week Venus is in conjunction with Saturn. What does that mean? It means people are going to take you more seriously. And it also means personally wanting to be just be grown up, wanting to be responsible for things, taking things more seriously, being more practical. Um, but I especially like this concept of people taking you more seriously because there's a lot that you're going to be struggling with. We have semi-squared to Mercury that starts out in retrograde, even though it goes direct uh, today, doesn't really matter. What matters is that it's not really going to, you're not going to feel the direct motion until basically the end of this week. Um, so there's, there's just technical issues. I would not be surprised if just stupid things have been irritating the crap out of you, like... Um, um, like like the breakdown of, of online platforms or your website not working or emails disappearing or like stuff like that, stuff with your phone. And that because, hold on, excuse me, that is going to really frustrate you because the closer and closer Venus, your ruling dignitary gets to Saturn, the closer and clo the more and more serious you're going to take things. And I want to get things done. And this is like, what's the problem? What's the holdup? And if the tools that you're using or the communications that you're sharing are being misinterpreted or not going through, that's going to be frustrating as all heck. But you know what? It's not horrible. There is also a challenging aspect to Uranus. It's a square. It's a square between Venus and Uranus this whole week. And what does that mean? That there you're going to have challenge, challenge with changes, challenge with changes. But the way that it's looking, it's coming from technical challenges. It's not that you're not going to know or be open to changes, but these things that are irritating are just going to keep popping up and surprising you. And it's going to happen all week. So here's the thing by the end of the week you will be taking it very personally because venus will be semi-square to chiron so you will be taking it very personally this is the challenge this week libra to not take it personally to realize it's not it's not you there's really nothing that you can work out right now and that the universe is really trying to teach you it's really this what the, the semi-squares and squares are really trying to prep you for all that you'll have to know. And by the time you get there to the place where you're actually ready to have all this stuff done, you'll be an expert at it because you'll have to have known it in order to get through. It's like it's like learning by, you know, um, um, trial by fire. That's, that's kind of what it's going to feel like this week. But on the other side, now you're the master. And so I think this is leading to someplace really wonderful. For Libras that are born at the very end of Libra season, this conjunction 
this conjunction between Venus and Saturn is going to be trying to your natal sun, which means especially you guys will experience the wonderful, almost effortless energy of people taking you more seriously and people trusting your authority and, and listening to what you have to say and trusting you with things. So that's a little bit of a blessing that I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get to the cards and why I said what I said in the beginning of the reading. Yeah, this is a sense of feeling really frustrated and stuck, of feeling like, okay, but why am I not able to figure this out? Like what's going on? right it's not that you don't keep trying it's not for lack of trying right it's not for lack of effort or interest it's for lack of information like there is definitely some stuff <laughs> that is not coming through some some info that you actually need and so not being able to make a choice for some of you you're caught up in confusion over which partner to choose who should i choose because you're talking about offers that have been made or who do i give my energy to am i ready to come out of whatever kind of um um break i've taken from the dating or from people that i'm dating or from relationships like am i ready not really sure not really certain so it is not going to be easy this week in any capacity to make decisions or to get people to, it's not about making decisions the authority will come by knowing who you are and what you desire um i think that's more actually because it's a trying i mean sorry conjunct saturn i think that's more toward your um career i would say uh when it comes to love and romance there seems to be uh i need more information or i need to think about this longer or i'm stuck between two different options and i don't know which to choose and that could be not two different people but you know do i stay single do i start dating like like kind of you know is this marriage working is it not working like those kind of things that are really starting to make you question um where you've stood on certain issues with it within within that context let's get a moon card because we have a new moon that i feel is very powerful this week um our new moon in aquarius is going to be Let's see. Um, is it sextile or trine to Jupiter and Chiron? It's an Aquarius. I can't remember. Let me get to the cards and it'll come back to me. I promise. Nothing will come of this situation. So don't let your past hold you back. A win, and this is Libra, a win-win outcome is forecast. So that kind of just gave away the whole reading or at least the cards that we have on the table right now. This sense of this, 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 I was gonna say bumblefuck, <laughs> this confusion, this, this stuckness, this not being able to decide or having to wait and this go between these back and forth with communication and things not coming in fast enough and all that, it's not gonna last. It's not gonna last, it's not permanent, right? So don't let your past hold you back. If you're starting to take it personally and feeling that it's personal, it's because of stuff from the past and that will help point it out to you. This sense of unworthiness, the sense of, oh, I might as well give up, this sense of like so much frustration, you feel like just walking away from the situation. It's actually coming from your past, it's coming from, situations that you're sort of lumping together in your mind because you're taking this personally this has more to do i don't mean to sound like cliche but this actually has more to do with mercury retrograde and the frustrations that it engages or creates than it does you so there is a sense of real challenge here this week to overcome wanting to give up or being so sensitive you take it personally because it's like listen things are going to work out things are going to balance themselves out 
because you're determined. There's a bit of determination in this card. And that determination is coming from, I don't like where I've been or this comfort zone of mine. I'm sick of being stuck in it. I know there's something more. And so there's a sense of determination that I feel coming from you that says, I don't want to settle for what I've always had. I don't want my past to be what my future is. And it's not. It's not going to be. You're trying to change things. You're trying to make moves and there's resistance. There's always resistance. There really is. There's always another paper that you have to sign or something that wasn't signed correctly or you know, you didn't check this box. Listen, yeah, that's the kind of stuff that's gonna happen, but it's not against you. And it's saying, listen, it's gonna pass. This craziness, this hecticness, even, even by the astrology should only last a week, maybe a week and a half. So you will eventually get things done and you can't push. So that's also going to be a challenge for you to not, you know, to, to be patient, right? And the patience will come from not taking it personally. If you realize this isn't about you, this is just, first of all, it could be just a learning curve for you. You know, it could just be something that you're going through right now where you just have to get used to the procedures. You have to get, get used to the particulars or, you know, and, and that could be frustrating as all heck, but it's not personal. You know, it's not a statement of, oh, this is never going to happen. Oh, this is going to happen. And I'll show you in a second why I know it's going to happen and how I know you're going to figure this out. Libra. Because the Six of Swords came out. And that means, yes, whatever you've been really struggling with or worried about, you're about to be able to move away from. It's just those first through few push off. You know, when you push off in the beginning of a boat, it takes a lot of energy to catch momentum. That's the struggle. That's the strain. You are absolutely going to be able to figure out these problems, figure out this situation and move forward. But this is also central energy. I'll show you the cards. This is central energy. So it's also saying that this is this is why you're frustrated because on some level you are absolutely ready to move forward you are absolutely this is what you're trying to do you're trying to figure it out you just don't have all the variables correct and you're going to get a few variables that you didn't expect thrown at you this week and so it's going to be frustrating that's what it is it's just frustration though it is not anything you can't handle I'm telling you right now these are semi squares not even full squares so even though it's frustrating it's pretty it's pretty simple to fix it's just going to be irritating so let's get into the details here. especially oh Okay, so this is what I was about to say out loud especially I was supposed to say I was going to say Let's get into the details here, especially with this Knight of Cups. Okay. And before I could finish my sentence, I got a card. And are you ready to see it? Let me just finish shuffling to see if any other cards want to come out. Okay. The Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups was the answer or the response to the Knight of Cups. Which is Libra, yes, you are first of all ready to put your whole heart into something. And yes, you absolutely do care enough to handle and deal with all these frustrations. The energy of love is there. Now, if this is romantic, a sense for you, this is, this is a time to kind of start working your way up and opening your heart. There could be a surprise offer of love that comes through to you that you never expected right it, it could kind of surprise you leave room for surprises this week libra because some of them could be good ones and really really make you happy we have the judgment card that's also come so we have the ace of cups and then we have the judgment card and then we have the world so there is something especially with regards to romance love connection connectivity that is going to change your world and make you just explode. It's going to explode with joy and happiness. You're gonna realize that, okay, I don't have to worry about this situation anymore. I've completed it. This judgment is coming down from, the, from God, God's self, and saying, you know what? You get a car and you get, no, 
you get a, an award. You, you get love. You deserve this. You deserve adoration. You deserve recognition. And you're going, there's an outpouring of love that's actually going to come to you. So as, as much as you are frustrated by all the new things that you're trying to do, I think maybe you're motivated to move forward fast because you're tired of feeling like a loser or tired of feeling like something just doesn't work. And any frustration that you're matching now or that you're meeting or that's coming at you now is even more frustrating because you just so want to get out of that space of failure of where or where you feel stuck. And the truth is this, you aren't stuck. You are moving forward. I think you just have given up and don't expect something to end up as good as it's going to end up. Okay, so let's, what is this about? What is this? Now, I know we already have love on the table. Love of what? Like, okay, let's get deeper. Explain to me more. Oh, okay, okay, damn. I, this, I did not expect it. This is more major arcana. So this is destiny. And I said love of what? Love of what you do. Love of what you've been trying to build. Love of what you're trying to manifest. It could be unexpected an unexpected outpouring of love and appreciation. People are starting to finally take you seriously and see that you are exceptional at what you do. And so this is like accolades for what you do. An outpouring of love, a judgment to love, uh, somebody's outpouring of love that you did not expect, okay? Let me tell you, this came out pretty specific. Are you guys dealing with a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. So for you guys, it is somebody has harbored feelings for you for a while and they just haven't told you. And this is an actual person. Now, if this is not, you're not involved with anybody like that at all. This could be a creative genius, somebody who is a kind of executive or top in their field. And it's almost like in some ways you're gonna be shocked that that person comes through and talks to you and says anything to you. It's going to surprise you, but in some ways they've kind of been looking at you. It's spying, no, admiring. I just don't think you know it. See, not everything happens at the time that you need it to or, or the time that you want it to. And that's the challenge here, is just being so frustrated and sick of the stagnation, the standstill, or being so ready to move forward, you want everything to fall into place, and when it doesn't, you think everything's kaput. Yes, that's going to be the exacerbation of the planetary movements right now, but really we almost have, I would, I would, I would gander almost a secret admirer that's coming out and really does appreciate everything that you are and everything that you do and what you have created and made out of your life or something that you did, like something that you have created. So ultimately, this is a sense of opportunity at the very least. Let's get deeper. Okay, who is this king of, oh, hold on. We have death and the fool. It's time to try again because you absolutely will, you absolutely will succeed. You absolutely will get offers. It's time to try again. And maybe, maybe here's the frustration. You have to try again multiple times. But Libra, as long as you have learned each time and you see an improvement of some sort, you're really not trying the same thing again. You're really not batting your head against the wall. You've learned, right? Failure isn't failure if you've learned something from it. So we have this six of pentacles with the moon card. There are hidden opportunities just in your attempts, putting your attempts out there, letting your attempts be seen. Like there are hidden rewards or hidden opportunities. Okay. You just have to trust. And in some ways, let things crash and burn. If things aren't working, they don't work, but give it a try. Take the chance again. This is so essential. Like, don't let your past hold you back. 
not it, this is all flowing out into the future so definitely toward the end of this week by the end of this week or into next week right a sense of don't let your frustration hold you back or your past the stuff that hasn't come through like the stuff that hasn't worked out and don't don't do that because there's opportunity here let's get deeper into it i'm going to go to the extended i will see you guys there link is somewhere above in one of these cards or down below in the description box